Hey, thanks for joining me with another Delve Deeper. Lesson number 28. Well, to participate in the culture of Babylon is to go a whoring. Yeah, identifying with the culture, you become part of the culture. You become you become a whore. Not generally considered a good thing. To call someone a whore is extremely derogatory. Now, a spiritual whore is someone who betrays God's values and principles for personal gain. Um, no sexuality is involved. It's just blasphemy. Now, the good news is that anyone can be forgiven of blasphemy. Jesus said there's nothing done or said that cannot be forgiven. But, he says, if you deliberately persist in your slanders against God's spirit, you are repudiating the very one who forgives. If you reject the Son of Man out of some misunderstanding, well, the Holy Spirit can forgive you. But when you reject the Holy Spirit, you're sawing off the branch on which you're sitting, severing by your own perversity all connection with the one who forgives. Mm. Well, the work of the Holy Spirit involves grace. Now, prevenient grace woos you from spiritual darkness, calling you to bend your knee to the Lordship of Christ. Justifying grace reconciles your relationship with God. Rebellious no more, your sins forgiven, your relationship reconciled to God. You surrender your right to rule your life and allow the sovereignty of God to give you the directions you need. Sanctifying grace is the power that matures you in your faith, continually conforming you into the person that God declared you to be a person just like Jesus. And then glorifying grace, it ushers you into the presence of God eternally. Now, to reject this work in your life, this work of the Holy Spirit, it disqualifies you from living righteously, which is the purpose of the Holy Spirit. So to refuse the Spirit's overture is to blasphemy. And from this blasphemy, there's no return. Now, in John's context, apostasy is most likely on his mind. In a culture that is antichrist, it's difficult to maintain your testimony. The pressure is immense to just go along with the attitudes and the trends of the times. So much propaganda attacking your faith in Christ all the time. It's so easy to compromise. It's so easy to remain silent. It's so easy to be an undercover Christian. Here's one example. I'm a Christian, but I don't belong to a fellowship. Let me translate. You're not an active member of any local church. You feel you don't need church. So you reject organized Christian gatherings for a million reasons. <laughs> well, when it comes to church here in America, we certainly can sing, you're giving me a million reasons to let you go. You're giving me a million reasons to quit the show. <sighs> you're giving me a million reasons. But here's one good reason not to. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Look it up. There's a lot of things that need to be made righteous in the church. And when you see it, when you see it, it's God's call to you not to walk away, but to do something about it.